All right. Welcome, everyone, to another episode of this crazy-ass show. <clears throat> well, I got some things I want to talk about today. Um, it's this coronavirus stuff. I was, I said in a, <clears throat> a last video, I put it in the descriptions that I was wrong. I read an article that had to deal with uh, 60, they, they estimate that 60 million people had been uh, infected, has already been infected by, in America by the coronavirus. That's just an estimate. That's just an opinion of, <clears throat> of that journal I read. Well, I, I messed up and I thought it was actually SARS that they were talking about, um, SARS-CoV-2. But you got SARS-CoV-2, which is uh, COVID-19. COVID-19 is not nearly as deadly as SARS. SARS only infected 8,049 people, killed 770-something, 774, I believe. So, and it was in 2003, not 2009. 2009 was H1N1, uh, swine flu. It killed quite a few people, but both SARS and um, swine flu were, were hard to, um, to contract. And uh, you didn't show signs and symptoms uh, until, you, until you were able to infect people. So you had, you, you had signs and symptoms. And they're claiming that COVID is, that you don't, that you can be asymptomatic. <clears throat> anyway, clear that up. <clears throat> I was looking to see about what about our schools? Why in the hell have we not opened up our schools? What makes these teachers so much more um so much more important than say police officers, firemen? They still have to go to calls. These teachers are public servants if they work for a public school. They work for the state. Why the hell do they get this at home and, and nobody else does? Especially when you look at the data. Do you know how many people have been, that have died under the age of 18? In the whole country. 350 million fucking people. 123 kids have died of COVID-19. Wow. And if you're under the age of 70... You have a 99.5% chance that you will survive COVID-19. I don't know that you have that much of a uh, chance not to contract cancer if you're over that age. <clears throat> That's just my opinion. Now, I'm going to say something, and I'm going I'm to say this, and this, now that, what I just told you was a fact. This here is going to be my opinion. This is my opinion. So all you fact checkers, this is my opinion. I don't need you fact checking me because it's not a fact. It's my fucking opinion. Now, what is that opinion? That this virus was nothing but a way to get absentee ballots approved. It's nothing but fear mongering and a way to take down Donald Trump. That's my opinion. It's evident. Did you see the Biden supporters when the media called the election? And by the way, the media can't call an election. And Joe Biden is not the president-elect. Not yet. I'm not saying he won't make it there. But right now, Joe Biden is just Joe Biden. And there is no such thing as the office of the president-elect. So there. That ain't, that's not my opinion either. That's a fucking fact. So, so folks, let me just say, the teachers need to be getting back to work. They need to be back in the classroom. There's no need to keep these kids home. Because there's no data, Dr. Fauci, that shows that, that kids uh, will, will spread these. And you know what? Hey, if you don't want to be a teacher, find something else to do. You know, it's kind of like they said when if you if you lose your business uh, and you don't have an essential business, well, just go to work for one of those essential businesses. Idiots. I have never in my life seen the level of panic in all three branches of our government. Do you know that they're fixing or they're going to put plexiglass up in the courthouses? For what? 
for a virus that you have a 99.9 percent uh, or 99.5 percent it even gets lower than that as you get down to where my age is at 49 you have like a 99.999 percent chance that you're going to survive it so ooh, my goodness you have a better chance of getting killed in a car and I just, I don't get it at all. 83,000 or 84,000, I think I read, died of alcohol-related deaths in 2019. I want to see the numbers of this this year because people are drinking like they're in college. And people are losing their businesses at record numbers. I had to restructure mine all because a government bureaucrat who's still getting a salary, by the way. I think the people that made these damn choices should have foregoed their salaries. They should have. If you're going to shut somebody else's business down, every business is essential to the person that puts food on their table. I don't need a government handout. I need you to get the hell out of my way. That's what I need. I need you to get the hell out of my way and let me do my job and let me build what it is that I build, let me run my business the way I, th- I want to run the damn thing, and I have anyway. I ain't shut shit down. And they can all kiss my ass. I- I'm just not going to do it. Now, even though I didn't shut down, we were still, we still had problems because everybody else was shut down. And the nature of my business, it put a stranglehold on me. So we were essentially shut down because everybody else was shut down. With no money. So, people, you better wake the hell up. And I'm going to tell you what's going to... This is my opinion, too, for the fact checkers. My opinion is very simple. If Joe Biden goes... If he actually becomes the president-elect and he actually is sworn into office, God forbid that the fraud is... that, that, that this happens because this was nothing but fraud. You can't, you'll never convince me that that man got millions of votes over Obama. You, you will never convince me of that. Oh, and by the way, the Secretary of State for Georgia is uh, launched an investigation. Why? Because he received absentee ballot request for his dead son. Yeah, that's right. These organizations that send out these requests for absentees sent it out and requested for his son that had passed away. So if it happened for the runoff election, and that's what it was for, the runoff election coming up, what do you think is going to happen? What what did they think was going to happen during Trump's election? I mean, Trump had such a lead that they had to stop the vote and go, shit, we didn't think you'd win this at at this level. And then you have a video. And I'm not going to say that those were suitcases they were pulling out from it. Go watch the video. And I know you probably, I'm I'm a little late on this. You probably have already seen the video. I don't think those were suitcases. I think they were actually ballot holding containers. But why the hell were they in under that table? Why did they pull them out after they sent everybody home? Why? Why why was that table set up at 8.30 in the morning and the ballot set there all day long? Why? I'll tell you why. Fraud. And affidavits are evidence. Witness testimony is evidence. What they did, if proven in court, or what they allegedly did, is a crime and a felony. And they should go to jail for quite some time. I even watched the video of one of the poll workers uh, live streaming on. I don't know what she was on. I want to say Facebook, but I don't know that for sure. But she pans over to the the, the, um, ballots that she's got to count. Not a one had had a return address on it. There needs to be an audit. If Joe Biden won after an audit, then fine, he won. But there's got to be an audit. If there's not going to be an audit, the legislator 
should uh, exercise their Article 2 powers and appoint those electorals for Trump. Because it's obvious that he won, to me. It's obvious that they cheated. I mean, why did Dominion pack up and leave and poof, gone? Why did, why does, uh, why do they have bags of shredded ballots? Why would you do that? Why would you shred those ballots? Until everything was certified. They should not be able to shred anything or erase anything until the votes are certified. Now you got federal judges and I think Nevada has issued an injunction to, for them not to, you know, wipe the uh, voting machines. All I can say, folks, is this virus is not as deadly as as they've made out. And I just don't see shutting down our country for this type of so-called pandemic. But going back to what I said before, and then I'm going to end with this, is I believe that Joe Biden... If he does get sworn in into the White House, you heard it here first. It'll be about a month. Fauci will come out. Surgeon generals will come out. And they will tell you that the mask that you're wearing after they did a double-blind study, and we realized that those masks uh, actually increased your chances of spreading the virus because you're touching your face and you're touching your mask and you're touching your face and you're doing that. That's what he said at the beginning that it, was, it would actually spread the virus rather than prevent the spread. But he changed his mind. The World Health Organization said it. Fauci said it. There's tape of him saying it. But yet, he reversed it. There's tweets of the Surgeon General saying, stop buying the mask, they don't work. They know they don't, people. They know they don't work. They know they increase the spread. And they will come out after Biden is sworn in. If he gets sworn in, that's what they'll do. And they will blame it on they did a study and everything. Because what they want, if he gets in office, they want everything to go back to normal. And they will flip that switch like that. And everything will go back to normal. Because now they're in control. It's, it's the damnedest thing I've ever seen in my life. I've never seen this level of uh, idiocy. I mean, our courts are, are are insane when it comes to the way they've bit. How would you go and say this is a constitutional issue and file a suit in a court and say m- making me wear a medical device is against my constitution, is against the constitution and my rights as an individual? We don't have a collective constitutional right. We have an individual right, not a collective. How would you do that? How would you go into court and do that when the judge that you're going before is making you put on a damn mask? Wouldn't work too well, would it? All right, hope you liked it. Hit that uh, that notification bell. Hit the subscription button and the notification bell for any content that comes out. And thank you all for listening and, and my rant and everything. If you want, you can go to charlesgram.com and, uh, and listen to the podcast or you can buy a T-shirt at, cho- at shop <clears throat> shop.charlesgram.com. Thank you guys. I'll see you on the next video and bye-bye.